Hello, I'm Eric Hanley, an Automation Specialist with the SNE. In this video segment, we will cover configuring PLC communications for a ME application, creating the runtime, and then downloading the application using the transfer utility. When configuring your project, you need to set up the communication path, aka the PLC shortcut, for the HMI to find the PLC. To configure the communication path, you open the Factory Talk Links folder, double click on the communication setup. You may find it easier to create the drivers using the Factory Talk Links application, but you can manually add those inside the FTView application also. As of Machine Edition version 11, each application has its own configuration which is convenient so that the runtime doesn't have all the extra equipment that your PC has connected to and added to the project. When creating a new project, you get the prompt where you can create a new configuration, import a configuration, or copy an existing from an other running station. Most of the time, you will be creating a new one. If you have an existing project and you already restored it, then you will probably not get the prompt. But once the communication setup window is open, it will show the device shortcuts as well as the design and runtime tabs. By default, there are no device shortcuts, so you will need to add the shortcut and give it a name. If you have multiple controllers, you will need to create multiple shortcuts, and each shortcut must have a unique name. Once you create the shortcut name, then you will browse the drivers to find the proper device, or you can add this manually by right clicking and add driver or device. Once you find the device that you need, highlight the device and select the apply button in the device shortcut window. Ensure that you have a shortcut created for both the design and runtime. You can create the initial configuration on the design and then select the copy design to runtime button in the top right corner. Once you have a shortcut created and assigned to a PLC, then it is best practice to select the verify button in the bottom right corner. This will launch a pop-up where you should see that the shortcut is assigned to a device. If there is an issue with the shortcut, it will show in this pop-up window. Now the project has been created and you have the communication set up for the PLC, you'll want to create the runtime. There are two shortcuts for creating a runtime. One is an icon in the header, and the second is selecting the application dropdown and then selecting Create Runtime. It will launch a pop-up screen where you'll be able to see the runtime being created. This screen is where you give it a runtime name, select which revision, select Conversion Options, and Enable Viewpoint. The revision will default to the current software version, but you need to change it to the firmware to match the panel view. Also, we highly recommend leaving the conversion option to its default, which is always allow conversion. This will allow you to restore the project from the runtime in the event that you lose the original project. If you select the password protection option, there is no workaround to restore it if the password is lost or forgotten. When you select save, it will close this window and open a smaller progress window in the top left corner of your screen. Once the runtime is created, then you need to download the runtime to the panel view. In Rockwell world, download is taking the runtime from the PC and loading it into the panel view. Upload will be taking the runtime application from the panel view and saving it on your PC. An upload is not restoring the project because it is just the runtime file. If you need to edit the project, then you will need to restore that runtime. Machine Edition uses a program called Transfer Utility to download, upload, and compare runtime files. The Transfer Utility has two shortcuts just like creating the runtime. Inside the Transfer Utility, there are separate tabs for each function. On the Download and Upload page, you can see the runtime version, which is a nice feature when trying to determine the runtime version. On the Download page, there are a few options to select when downloading the runtime. You select the runtime that you want to transfer, where you want to store the runtime on the panel view. You can also check if you want to run on startup, replace the communications, and delete the log files. Typically, a runtime is loaded to the internal storage, and on the initial download, it is best to replace the communications. The transfer utility is also its own standalone application, 
so you do not need to load Factory Talk View Studio when trying to transfer runtime files. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact your local ESE account manager or automation specialist.